if you're out there and what happened yesterday, it's no hidden secret. I have some pretty strong feelings about that. It's, it's in our policy, okay? Um, that's just my, my opinion. No, I'm not against civil infractions and I'm not against criminal arrest if it proves to that. Should those people have to pay a portion of what you guys all incurred yesterday? I think that's subject for debate. I'm asking uh, your opinion. Uh, well, I think my opinion is pretty strong. I think there, if, if we follow our policy, yes, it, it calls for that. And, and, and I think it's fair. It was drafted by fishermen who've been out on the ice. Um, I, I think there is. I think there should be some responsibility. Um, the Coast Guard does a beautiful job in their operations. Couldn't, couldn't do it without them. They're, they're excellent. We all know there's just a little... That's their job. That's their role. I personally seen a lot of resources devoted to that. Uh, I'm not saying this because I'm worried about budgets, but we did have a death out there yesterday. So I think I would like to sit back down with our friends from the Coast Guard, law enforcement, fire, and let's let's just talk what you just brought up. Sure, Sheriff sure. Talbot, same deal for you. Do you think that maybe there should be stronger fines, or these people who caused this, these fishermen, should possibly be fined? I think there should be some fine. There should be some consequence. Uh, maybe not the first time when they pulled them off the ice yesterday. There should have been, if we would have had the manpower to do this and the accountability, we should have had all their names, addresses, identifying information on each person that came off that ice. Then if we have to pull them off again today, yeah, there should be some consequences attached to that. 